Hey guys, what's up? So I'm out here. So I'm out here uh, in the garage, just kind of working on a few things, and uh, I decided to uh, shoot a short video just to kind of give you guys a quick garage tour. Um, I don't think I've really shown off like all the corners of it in here, and uh, I'm also testing out this. Um, camera kind of bevel level thing so I'm just trying to uh, record a little bit um, I actually recorded this video once already I held my camera wrong or like backwards the entire time I don't know how that could have happened so let's take you through it it's a pretty cool space so I just wanted to share um, some of the areas of it and what I do and how I've sorted it out. So starting in one of the corners here, this is kind of generally like our mis miscellaneous yard and garden stuff my wife uses to uh, store things like our bird feeders, bird seed, twine, and uh, just general garden tools. So, so it's kind of just like her little corner of my uh, not so big garage. Over here is our bicycles. Mine here is this Trek that I picked up a number of years ago and outfitted. It's a pretty cool bike. Uh, it's, I put a lot of miles on it, uh, not lately, but uh, uh, I hope to rectify that here this late summer and fall. Uh, my wife's bike here, she picked up uh, around when we started dating. This bike over here is actually one that, my, that was my dad's and it's the one that uh, he rode you know with me on the back of it when I was a little baby so it's kind of sentimental definitely needs to be ridden more but uh, um, I just haven't so my garage ceiling is kind of weird it's this weird like particle board shit they put up here and it's different colors and some of it's super warped and falling apart and uh, I even had to cut a hole in it here because I occasionally put a ring to ring on that beam and, and hang from that. I've had to do weird storage things like here with my uh, extension ladder just to kind of like give it a place to be. This is just kind of a random storage area and like basically like my wheelbarrows, chairs, uh, and some other crap here. So this area is basically my favorite area that I'm going to show you next. Uh, it's where I pretty much spend most of my time here in the garage. So this is the desk set up here and I rescued that from a scrap metal pile and uh, basically that uh, chair was going to be thrown away so I just picked that up from my old office that I worked at and uh, yeah it's uh, been really nice. I mean it's nice to have a solid old sturdy desk for random junk. I usually keep a lot of my camera stuff on here and uh, it's where I do some writing and I even work on my actual job work in here as well. So this space is a cool space outside of the house that I can just come and chill and you know just work and relax. I do have a window here behind the Clint Eastwood poster but uh, I like to keep it kind of covered because I do keep some expensive gadgets and junk in here and I don't want to invite anyone to just easily look inside. Over here is basically more kind of randomness. Um, I keep my Climbing gear here often, it's just where it's at when it's not stored in a nicer spot in my basement or in my car. I do want to formalize this area a little bit better and put build an actual nice shelf. Like right here you can see all the toolboxes and this shelf that they're on, uh, that was already here and I don't really like it. I want to rebuild that and make it a nicer spot and a little bit simpler for storage underneath. Basically just create an entire wall storage space. That's kind of my next bigger project besides ripping off the shit on the ceiling. Uh, I've got my boom box. This boom box is really cool. I found it on Craigslist. Um, kind of like the last thing I've ever bought on Craigslist from just some random guy. It works really nice, great sound. And uh, I have just basically a hookup for my phone. Otherwise I, I actually do have tapes that I bought that I can uh, play on there. So of course the ARP session banner which I've proudly shown off on other videos. That's a cool thing that uh, the guys at our Session sent me with uh, one of my first orders from them. We had just messaged back and forth and uh, I really appreciate what they do. I mean basically I kind of consider them a local guy you know when I compare it to Tree Stuff, Cheryl or some of those guys out west. So here's a better uh, shot of my toolboxes and tool chests. Uh, the black one here is one that my dad gave me that his dad gave him. Uh, it's not really one that I use every day, but it did have some cool stuff in it. And one thing that I thought was really neat that I found is this silver bar. Um, maybe someone could tell me what's that, what that's worth, but that's one ounce of fine silver right there. Uh, there's two of these actually, there's another one in there. Um, I just thought that was really fun to, to find kind of this old silver bar that uh, 
I, I'm not sure why that ended up in here, but I have it. This old green um, drawer set is, is pretty beat up and falling apart. I actually had to pull the um, bottoms out of some of these drawers, so I need to rebuild them. And I do want to kind of clean them up and finish them again because, you know, they, they're actually really fairly well constructed. They're just kind of old and falling apart. Protos helmet. So here's my nice craftsman uh, chess. Um, these are ones that my dad got from a garage sale years back. And uh, yeah, they've, they've come in handy. I mean, I just finally sorted things out, like kind of kind of miscellaneous stuff here on the top, but then I have my drill bits, more drill bits, Allen wrenches and pliers and all that shit. Down below here is stuff that I always really wish that I had easy access to when I worked in the field, you know, just like, oh God, I can never find what I need. So basically I was finally able to sort things out and I have, you know, miscellaneous markers and hand tools. I have my screwdrivers. Oh God, that's so nice to so see organized. Um, I have all my sockets and wrenches in here. And the rest of the drawers are just miscellaneous tools, but you get the idea. This corner is often in disarray. Uh, it's basically where I keep miscellaneous fuel and chainsaw stuff. This is where I charge my batteries for my weed trimmer, uh, drills, and my mower. Below here I have gas cans, air compressor, shop vac, just basic stuff that you need to take care of your shit. Tree stuff poster. So this next spot is basically like the coolest spot of my garage. It's definitely the most photogenic area in my garage. So it's my chainsaws. Um, basically, you know, I've, I've been really lucky to be able to afford my old trim saws, the one I bought first. Then I bought this 550 XP last beginning of last summer. Um, neither of them have seen extensive use. Uh, they're, they're pretty pampered. I have this old McCullough here. That has never been able to run, at least while it was in my care. I just found it on the side of the road when I was working one day and I just pulled the vehicle over and picked it up and uh, I did talk to the homeowner. They said they were happy for me to take it. It has compression, but it has a pretty major crack where the, um, where you put oil in for the bar oil and then also just doesn't seem to be holding gas. So that's not good. So if anyone has any advice as how I should go about fixing that, um, let me know. I just would like to find a low cost solution and I'd like to figure out how to do it myself. I mean, I tore this whole thing apart and cleaned it. So it's basically ready to be worked on. Below here is my workbench. This is a cool workbench. It's really come in handy. It was cheap um, because I you know, it's basically followed a kit and built it myself. Uh, I usually just keep my battery tools here up in this corner. And then I keep a lot of my miscellaneous tools like you know my files and stuff and bar this is all stuff that i use to like clean my chainsaws and occasionally i'll fix friends chainsaws and clean them up for them too this thing is just like my favorite thing that i have if you don't have your own vice i mean just just get it once i bought this vice i was just blown away it was pretty affordable i think i got it from northern tool or something like that and it's a cheaper one but it does the job and I'm very happy with it. Below I just keep things like firewood and miscellaneous junk for around the house, you know, hoses, stuff for my gutters, tarps, that kind of stuff. Kind of getting towards the end here, I've got my axes, I use those to split wood. I've got just really miscellaneous stuff here like these rain trains. A lot of different hand tools, I mean I basically end up buying anytime I do a project in my yard I end up buying these different hand tools so that's what those are i've got this really nice ryobi mower i was really tired of my gas mower it was very heavy and i have a very steep front yard and my backyard is really small so like i don't really have much square footage for yard when, when it comes to that so i can basically mow my yard um, without ever having to use gas and out without having to charge this very often more ladders <laughs> Uh, and, and that pretty much sums it up, you know? It's a cool space. It's a space where if I just need to get out of the house but I don't really want to go anywhere, it, it's where I end up staying um, busy a lot with different projects. I just built a picnic table in here. Um, I shoot some videos in here. In the future, I'll kind of work on the lighting and actually kind of have a little bit more formal of a set in here. That's kind of why I have the art obsession. Uh, banner in here now and I still have my basement space which I'll tour a little bit more in another video but uh, just wanted to show this off and just kind of let you guys in to uh, I don't know into my space a little bit so yeah so yeah thank you for watching this video uh, please subscribe like it 
If you like it, if you like me, I don't, I don't know. I'm glad that I've had a little bit more inspiration to make videos again. Um, yeah, it's, it's a weird time in America, so I hope you guys are doing okay, and uh, thank you. Somebody stop me!